As we work through the structure and format of the numeracy progression, there are a number of terms that you will hear. If you need to revisit these terms, you will find them explained in some detail on pages 3 to 5 of the PDF version of the progression. Let's start with the structure. The numeracy progression is organised under the three elements of number sense, spatial sense and data sense. Under each of the elements there are threads, which represent big ideas or important numeracy concepts. The choice of these threads and their titles is derived from evidence and has been the subject of much consultation and debate with both practitioners and experts. The threads are presented in pairs. Each pair is comprised of a mathematical understandings thread in orange and an applications thread in blue. The pairing of the threads recognises that numeracy is demonstrated by the application of mathematical knowledge and skills to solve problems in specific contexts. The mathematical understandings will be the knowledge and the skills that are mainly developed in the mathematics lesson. And the applications thread will be where the numeracy skills are applied in other learning areas as well as in mathematics. For spatial sense, Threads such as positioning and locating may be particularly relevant to geography, whilst threads like data might be particularly relevant to science. Under the number sense element, there are five pairs of threads. Under the spatial sense element, there are four pairs of threads. And under the data sense element, there are two pairs of threads. The number and names of the threads may be something you wish to comment on when you provide your feedback at the end of March. Each thread includes descriptions of what a student says, does or produces at increasing levels of numeracy sophistication. Each description is called an indicator. The indicators are grouped together to form a level. There are as many levels within each thread as can be supported by evidence. Each level has one or more indicators and is more sophisticated than the preceding level. The indicators within a level are non-hierarchical. In version 1 of the numeracy progression, the levels of the paired threads are aligned, but there is no equivalence of levels between different pairs of threads. For example, in level A of computational strategies, one indicator says, uses objects or fingers to count and the difficulty does not equate to an indicator in level A of algebra, which says identifies one-step rules in numerical patterns. There is not an equal time interval between the levels, as learning is very rapid in the early years of schooling and there is more available research, the initial levels tend to be more detailed than the latter levels. What do you need to do first? Firstly, familiarise yourself with the learning progression. You may like to print the PDF version. It is important that you take some time to become familiar with the structure, form and indicators. Begin by looking at the beginning and end points of each pair of threads to get an understanding of the range. For example, the first indicator of the rational numbers thread begins with shares a collection by dealing out one at a time until all items are distributed and ends with the last indicator of identifies the effect of multiplication and division on fractions and decimals. When you have scanned all the threads, you may wish to pay close attention to which threads relate to what you are planning to teach and within those threads the levels where you think your students are most likely to be located. Once you are familiar with the progression, the next thing you need to do is select six students from your class or group. If possible, these students should represent the range of students in your class. So two high-performing students, two mid-range students, and two students who may be experiencing some numeracy challenges. Next, think about what you are planning to teach during March and which numeracy threads are relevant to that learning. For that planned learning and the relevant threads, think about what learning tasks or activities might provide evidence to assist you to locate the numeracy development of these students. The activities you use can be drawn from any learning area. It does not necessarily have to be a mathematics task. 
It can be a written task, a practical activity, a group discussion on a problem, or even a presentation. The choice of activities is up to you as long as it provides significant evidence of numeracy development. Evidence could be found in a work sample, your observations, or discussions with the student. During March, across a range of learning activities, identify evidence to locate the six students on the relevant threads of the progression. It is suggested that you make notes of your observations and judgments on a printed out copy of the threads you are focusing on. You will be asked towards the end of March to enter your judgments into the online survey. Using the progressions in this detailed way will assist you to provide high quality feedback. Your feedback helps us improve the progression so that it is usable in schools across Australia from 2018. Thank you for your participation in the trial. Please contact us if you have any questions or need any further information. All the best.